And then shout out to Cuzzo Red, man. Cause like the name Hollywood came from, I used to always, man, like, I love cars and jury. Every, every time I pull out, you know, I just, I, not trying to say I was the life of the party, man, but every time I pulled up, you know, I, I was stunting. You know what I'm saying? With Cuban links, we, I've been doing that. The Cuban links, two or three chains, bracelets, watches, drop tops, hemis, all like, I, I've been doing that. And cuz I used to always be like, boy, goddamn Hollywood, <laughs> ain't it? So when I came up, my people were like, well, how you, what, what your rap name gonna be? I'm like, shit, I don't know. Shit, I'm like, Hollywood. Hollywood what? It's a lot of people named Hollywood. Shit, Hollywood there, Hollywood there, Hollywood there, Hollywood there. Hey, yeah, man, hey, hey, man. Hey, the bitch, why the fuck this nigga looking like a nigga owe him something, man? Goddamn, nigga want a bottle or something, man? Nigga looking over here and shit, nigga, that section, nigga. You know what the fuck going on, nigga? Ain't no motherfucker looking crazy. Motherfucking Hollywood. I ain't gonna lie, like, I used to do music back when I was younger, man. God bless him dead. Childhood friend, man, Charles Brook, CB. We used to do music, like, man, crazy one of the talent show. But I really, like, I had a talent for football. So I really kind of put it aside. But what made me, like, really, like, focus on it, probably when I went to jail. You know, I went to jail and um, one of my cousins, I seen him in the same cell, and damn, they ain't recognize him. You know what I'm saying? And he was just like, man, you know, what you gonna do? I was like, what you mean? He's like, man, you gotta do something different. You know, you gotta find another way to generate an honest earning, I guess they would say. So, I just always had a way with words. The most important thing to me was family. I don't, I don't think nothing more important than family. Like, family is everything. You know, love, loyalty, respect, that's everything. That's something you can't build. Like bonds, you know, time, you can't get it back. My kids, my family, you know, people that's even close friends, we brothers, we family. So, to me, that's the most important thing in life. You know what I'm saying? That's more important than money. That's why you go get the money. That's what made me really want to do the music, you know what I'm saying? Because ain't no, I don't think it's nothing else that mean more to me than my family and the people that surround me, to be honest. Ain't no, the me that made me just take the ultimate route or just seeing my mama food stand card decline. Like, I think that did something to me. You know what I'm saying? That do something to anybody that got something about this stuff, especially seeing your mama go through that struggle. You know what I'm saying? Even even the drugs, you know, when I was younger. Seeing my mama just go through that, you know what I'm saying? Seeing my family, seeing my brothers, you know what I'm saying? My sister, like, that shit made me want to go. You know what I'm saying? That's why when I got the opportunity to do what I had to do, I took it. You know what I'm saying? Anybody in their right mind to do the same thing. But at the same time, while doing that, I always made a vow to myself that my kids, my nieces and nephews, you know what I'm saying, hopefully if I could help it, they won't have to go through that. So it was an object behind it, you know what I'm saying? I had goals, dreams and ambition. And how I met V time, I can remember, you know what I'm saying, going to get my first 100 CDs. So I had to run into OG, you know what I'm saying? OG V time, you know what I'm saying, D. So how I met him, you know, I went to purchase my first 100 CDs. You know, I kind of chopped it up with him or whatever, but we wanted to talk about everything, you know what I'm saying, Morris, and plus he was from the crib too, down south. So that was definitely, you know what I'm saying, love there. But just seeing how he carried himself and just see how he did what he did for his family, you know what I'm saying, see how he had the same mentality, had the same goal. When I got about also, I got off at the Greyhound bus station with $100 in my pocket. That's it, you know what I'm saying? With them hundred dollars, I had to go buy me some underwear, socks, tank tops, you know what I'm saying? So by the time I left Walmart, I had about twenty some dollars in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? And I'm thinking, damn, I'm in a new city. How I'm gonna come up? I had a homeboy 
that introduced me to the city gang. He came here to visit, you know what I'm saying? And he asked me where was the nearest park at. He had some little music to sell, some CDs and movies and stuff like that to sell. And he asked me to take him to the little park or whatever. So I took him to the park and long story short, he went out there, put down and made him about four, five hundred dollars in about an hour and a half. And I was like, damn, this nigga just came here and just put down. You know what I'm saying? So he told me, he said, he said, D, he said, if you don't lock this shit down, I'm coming back. You know what I mean? So I just fed off of that right there and, and went to work. You know what I'm saying? I got me a little minivan and, and went to work and just came up. When Hollywood came through the door, I knew Hollywood was serious because most of these young cats that come through the door, they got their CDs, they just they just got a blank CD that they don't wrote on with their mark or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And I be telling them young cats, man, you know, how you want me to pr present this to somebody with your shit wrote on there like that, though? You know what I'm saying? Presentation is a must. You know what I'm saying? So when Hollywood came through the door, Hollywood had everything in order. He had his, his, his CDs. He had what he wanted on the CDs to be pressed up. Everything was right. You understand what I'm saying? So at that moment, I said, damn, this young nigga here, you know what I'm saying? He about his business. You know what I'm saying? So when you see a young nigga like that, they're about his business. You know what I'm saying? You don't mind going the extra mile to help this man. So when you see somebody like Hollywood, you already know they're going to take off. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a matter of time, but you know what I'm saying? They're going to shoot through the roof. Over to right. Over right. All right. Well, you're going to have to. You're going to have to. Oh, wow. yeah, I'm from Miami, Florida. Scott Project, like, you know what I mean? To make it out, you know? This man, this shit, this shit crazy. You know what I tell you, like, to me, it was only two ways out, football or drugs, you know? To be honest, that's all I seen when I was younger because I seen my mama struggle at an early age. And I already knew what it was to be responsible, you know, to have responsibilities as a man. Like, I seen that nobody wanted to see their mama struggle. So to me, that's what pushed me, you know? to put my family on another platform. I do I do whatever I had to do to make sure I see them succeed, to make sure every generation after me never struggled or suffered really how I did. You know, I seen a lot from killings to drug dealing to everything, everything you could possibly imagine. Like Liberty City, that's the heart of Miami. You know, especially, man, Scott Project. Home team, dog pound, killer too, man. <laughs> Crazy, man, not many people make it out, man. So I was blessed, you know, to have that my big brother, you know, Gato, he doing um, life in '89. Man, he 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 brought me to Georgia, you know, I was a little small town, Toons County, Georgia. So that that blessed me, like I had, you know, he seen my letter to Billy, and that made it, you know, that helped me. Football got me to where I'm at now. I ain't never, I ain't never vision this. I ain't gonna lie to you, like people, like I vision I'd be rich, but I ain't envision it this way. You know, with music, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was going to be Southside Nino, <laughs> Maria, you know, with football, you know what I'm saying? But, hell, even with football, I was so caught up in football that I ain't even, I just played and I didn't even think about, like, graduating high school or none of that. You know, I ain't, I don't know, man. I was on some other shit, to be honest. <laughs> I just wanted to get rich. I just wanted to see my mama, you know what I'm saying? See my mama, see me be successful. And that was the whole goal of life. That's been the goal since I was, you know what I'm saying, younger. And my brother Gator, man, he he, he did that. I ain't gonna lie, we talk all the time. Like, you know what I'm saying, earlier we talk on the phone, he keep me lifted. You know what I'm saying, I keep him lifted, he keep me lifted. You know, because unfortunately he didn't get the chance that I got, you know, to have the freedom. But every day we definitely fighting for that. You know what I'm saying, he got life in 80, but I don't believe in that, I believe in God. You know what I'm saying, I believe in Jesus, so. I'm gonna stay to keep scribing, man, but. How I met Hollywood, Fat Boy Rama was like an introduction spot. Um, as it come around, helped Fat Boy Rama do a couple things. And uh, I, always, I always used to see Hollywood. So we linked up, I, told him, I asked him about his social media. And then from there, we just built a, it's just been a family situation. In this day and age, it's very hard to find somebody who's genuine and it's solid 100. You can portray to be something for so long, but eventually you get comfortable and you be, you be you. 
And uh, this friendship, man, this friendship, family-wise, business has just been 100 since day one. But the one thing about it, though, everybody in the camp is solid. You don't never have to question nobody. I feel like if you got to question somebody, or question somebody's integrity, you just don't be around them. You know what I'm saying? I just don't, I just don't, I just don't kick it with them. Um, I live by what I say, and everybody, Hollywood, um, not only is a good person, he's a good father, and everything he says has been a hundred. It never been quiet, I never had to question his integrity, or question what he say. Um, his music speaks for itself. You know, genuine, right? And people feel that when they see me, you know, they, they understand that. They feel that when they hear my music, they feel it. They live, you know what I'm saying, they live through me because they can't say it, they can't rap. So when they hear my music, you know, it just move them. And I think that's what moved me. And it, you know, they help me, help me.